got a big one. Good rainbow. God, help me out here. Oh. Well, so far, the hot bait has been the white fire minnow. Almost too easy. Oh my gosh. Nice rainbow here. Caught this one on the white fire minnow. Beautiful fish. So we haven't been back to Soco Creek in probably, I don't know, maybe it's been like three years, simply because it's always too busy. You know, anywhere by the casino, that's Soco Creek. Uh, we came here a different time today because we're up Old Soco Road. Anywhere there's a bridge, they stop. So we're right below a bridge. When we see one small golden, we're gonna try to catch him. But Ryan's wearing them out on the white fire minnow. Big boy's switching back and forth between yellow jackets and rainbow fire bait, and the bike's been pretty good so far. I'm gonna hit them with some rainbow fire bait here, see if they like it. Just a little pinch. Ooh. Well, it looks like they want the fire bait. Big boy cast that out there, wasn't even on there, maybe two seconds and boom. Fish one, big boy zero, but I think that's about to change. Big boy, I think that's a good one. <laughs> good boy, you still got it. Just enough. Ooh, that's good. Big ol' fatty. Oh, hey, look at mine. Mine's dark. Look at that one. That's a blue trout. Oh. Dude. Look at that one. That looks like a little drumstick. Another nice rainbow here. Ate the white bed. It's on fire today. We're catching a lot of these rainbows on this fire net right here. Uh, after a few rainbows, bike got a little slow. So I took a little bit of this trout fire gel, pop that open. Grab some, you just want to bring it right on the net, just like that. Rub some in there, and it's game on. And make sure your friend doesn't know that you put the fire gel on there. Because when you put some of that trout fire gel on there, boom, you're going to get another bite right away. Ooh, another bow. Old shark tooth head. We got snaked by a rainbow. I thought you had the golden. I did too. That's actually a matter. Hey. Big rainbow. I got snaked again right before I got the golden. This big one just snuck up and grabbed my egg. All right, so Big Boy has caught enough on rainbow fire bait. He tried to make a switch. What are you using now? Um, hang on. Um, Orange Deluxe. Orange Deluxe has been banging them. Just one egg. Watch, okay. Hold on, what size fire hook are you using? A 12. He's using a size 12 fire hook, and he's using Orange Deluxe because he said it matches his beard. And his beard is a lucky beard, so let's see what happens. Big one. Come here. Can you handle that, man, please? <laughs> okay. 
Okay, here we go. Got him. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Jesus. Ready? Ready? Oh, my God. Woo. The things people do to catch a golden. He almost broke his leg right there. Welcome to Cherokee, folks. Woo. My first golden down here in North Carolina. Absolute beaut. Today's episode of Pilotski Outdoors comes to you from a place we haven't been in a real long time. Now, the last time we were here is when Old Fluff right up this road here. This is Old Soco Road. This is Soco Creek. You remember Fluff catching that absolute tank of a fish, the largest fish we've ever caught or seen in Cherokee. These fish are not that size. They're all really good quality fish. And it's a bridge here that we remember actually stopping at once, but we never actually fished. Uh, we may have taken a couple casts here years ago, but nothing important. This time we came here and there were plenty of fish around. Now we focused on several baits and we didn't even shuffle our feet. We stayed in this same hole right here. Why? Because Big Boy saw a golden and Ryan saw a golden. Ryan is from Chicago area. He's actually from Milwaukee but he's never caught one before. So he really wanted to come down here and have a chance at catching one. And we were fortunate to see two fish in this hole, only one of which we caught. Now, Big Boy focused on switching back and forth with his size 12 fire hook with an orange deluxe and yellow jacket egg, where Ryan started out with a white fire net and then a white fire minnow. And he just caught fish back and forth, back and forth, back and forth before switching over to premium. That was one of his favorite things on the week that we were in North Carolina. He had never used premium salmon eggs before, and guess what? It was his all-time favorite. Now you see, these guys were able to wear out about a dozen fish before it just became to be a slow bite, maybe because we were releasing the fish, they didn't want to bite again, or maybe because that's all that was in here. It just shows you, we encourage you guys to get on out there and explore Cherokee. They have a phenomenal stocking program here. It takes place all year round, every single week, and they hit this spot just like all the other spots on Soco Creek every single week sometimes it's good sometimes it's not good it really honestly depends on how many people have been here before you now today was a tuesday so these fish are obviously left over from weekend before we're two weeks after the opener regardless of when you watch this video you could be watching it in summer and it just shows you they loaded this section of stream for the opener because a lot of these fish are still here anyways we encourage you to come to cherokee and enjoy the beautiful natural resources they have here for you Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.